Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, one of the questions that popped up considering SSD drives as a boot drive is what's the minimum hard drive that I should get for a boot drive on Windows? Um, so, of course, that question comes from the video that I talked about where Microsoft apparently might be considering users to have SSD or solid state drives in Windows 11 in the next updates like 23H2 or 24H2. And that question is a little tricky in, in a way because technically get the biggest drive you can get and, and that's it. Um, I think that is probably what is the best idea and the best answer to that question. Now, of course, maybe because of budget, because um, you already have a big drive, like a big magnetic hard drive on your system, so you have a lot of space, you might be thinking, well, you know, I could get just a small drive for a boot drive. Uh, technically, I would probably say that if you want to have just Windows on it, I would consider that the minimum is 128 gigabytes. Because Windows will get bigger bigger as you use it over time. To make sure that you don't really run out of space, if you put your photos, you put your documents, you put, you know, you install software on another drive, um, or even if you do install some software on the main drive, um, 128 is really an absolute minimum. And this is going to be dependent on what you do. If you want to have, for example, the software, all of your programs to be as fast as the rest, then you'll want that boot drive to also have the software you install. That means, you know, get something bigger. Um, 512 is maybe something you should consider. Uh, if you're a gamer, of course, um, you got to have a big drive. Gamers, um, you know, typically at least a terabyte because you'll have a lot of games um, that that are huge. Uh, considering the question about the fact that you can use an external, like a second hard drive, a mechanical hard drive, um, one of the questions also that came was, well, if I install software on a mechanical hard drive, Remember that it's going to work, but remember that the mechanical hard drive is much slower. That means that those software load times are going to be longer. So you'd probably want to have both Windows and your main software that you use all the time on the uh, SSD drive, which would be the boot drive for you. So these are things you should consider and you know um, as a general thumb of rule is buy the biggest one you can afford i think it's really the number one rule that you should get if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching